Okay, guys, you're going to have some problems on the whiteboard real quick. Let's go ahead and start with, I want A with the board. A has the board, okay, and they're going to be writing. So the first question, A has the board, B is the brain. B has to talk it out. And for any of my newbies, I totally realize that this is a brand new day. Don't worry about it. You can do the best you can. Your partner can help you actually with a lot of the work and just kind of help you on what's going on. Can I see this here? I want to see a coordinate point. In a coordinate, actually two points, and we're going to start very simple. I want you to have the calculator out. So the Chromebook calculator needs to be out. So A has the, is writing, all right, with the pencil, okay, not a pencil, obviously, marker. And what is B doing? B is going to have the computer. Let me see if I can draw a computer real quick. All right. Oh, not bad. All right. B has the computer with the calculator. Okay. All right. First problem, I want you guys using the formula we just learned last week. And we're going to keep learning this all, or we're using this all unit, the whole unit, your whole year pretty much in algebra. This comes into play when it comes to graphing and linear equations. And I'm still going to do this down here too. And I'm going to write this out. So I want you to find the slope, just the slope, just the slope, and put it in where the slope's supposed to go. Okay. And we're going to start there. So here's your point. Here's your point. Three, eight, two, twelve. All right. Look at your partner and say, what do I do? Okay, great. Now this is going to be x, y, x, y, 8 minus 12, 3 minus 2. I'm going to get negative 4 over 1. So negative 4 goes in here. Okay. And that's all I wanted to see. I don't want to see you figuring out the, the y-intercept right now. All right, let's do one more. Switch roles. Same idea. Two points. And I still want you to put it in the right spot. We got to get this in your brain. Where does the slope go in the right spot? All right, here we go. Here's your coordinate. 7, 4, negative 2, 5. Go ahead and find the slope. Don't forget on how to find the slope, okay? What are you going to do? y minus y over x minus x. Let's go. Okay, cool. 4 minus 5, 7 minus a negative 2. All right, this gets a little crazy. Should you be using your calculator? For sure. All right, this is going to be negative 1 over 9. So you can even write that. Use that as a fraction. Okay, negative 1 over 9, and that's good to go. All right, switch roles. Let's do it again. Now, now, let's see if we can get here. Let's see if we can get here. Let me give you a pretty easy one. I'll give you some easy ones today. Your exit ticket should have some easy ones as well. We'll see. All right, go ahead and try to find the slope first like you did. And then, if you can, if you can, if you can, try to get the y-intercept, all right? Go for it, guys. Help each other out if you need it. Okay, cool. So now doing this one, I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple different, I'm going to have some different colors involved here too. You do not have different colors, but we're going to have x and y, x and y. I'm going to have 4 minus 2, 5 minus 4, okay? Okay. 4 minus 2 over 5 minus 4, that's going to be 2 over 1. If you do the math, that's 2 over 1. We're going to put the 2 right here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, 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 what have we learned so far? We have to plug in points here and here, okay? We're going to plug in coordinates here and here. What are we going to plug in? I have an X here. I have a Y here. X and Y. Where does the X go? The 5, where does the y go? 4. All right, this is kind of intense because this is going to be 4 equals 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Our whole goal is to get 4 equals 4. All right, that's the whole goal. We want it to equal each other. So how do I get from 10 down to 4? Down to 4. I have to subtract. I have to subtract. And what am I going to subtract? six. All right. Hopefully you got that right. That was intense. That was kind of intense. All right. Do the best you can. Next one. All right. Let's do another one. I want to see the whole thing if you can do it. All right. Let's go for it. We're going to do eight and 10. Ooh, I'm doing big numbers. Seven and nine. Ooh, it's going to mess with people. That's okay. I have no problem when it's messing with people. That's good. Go for it.
y minus y over x minus x, I'm going to get 1 over 1, which equals 1. Could you put 1 there? For sure. Some people don't. This is the same as looking at as there's an invisible 1 in front of it, right? But I have no problem you putting a 1 there. That's fine. All right, so there's a 1 there. Now let's get down to business. What are we going to do? We're going to plug in a coordinate. Does it matter which one? It does not. It does not matter which one you want to do. So if I put 8 here, because that's an x, and 10 here, okay, 8 times 1 is 8. 10 is here. Does 10 equal 8? 10 does not equal 8. How do I get it to be 10? I want 10 equals 10. What do I have to add? Nothing there. I have to add here. Does that make sense? 2. Okay, let's do two more before I exit ticket. Let's go. All right, next one. If I do 5 and 9 and all right, go ahead and take your time on this one. That may get a little more challenging, which is fine. I want you guys to be challenged a little bit. Go for it. Two. Okay. Y equals two. Then we're going to go ahead and do what? We're going to go ahead and plug in our coordinate. All right. This is X and Y. X and Y. We're going to plug in five and nine. And this is exactly what I wanted to see. Five times two is 10. And this is nine. Does nine equal 10? No. I need it to be nine equals nine. So I need to go down one. All right, let's do one more. Let's see, four, six, one. Ooh, I'm gonna mess with you. This is a tough one. Do the best you can. Let me tell you right now, there's a negative involved. That's why it's gonna mess with you. And I'm fine doing a little spiciness. Not, this will not be on your exit ticket. Don't freak out. You will not have something like this on your exit ticket, okay? All right, so you're gonna have X and Y x and y all right then from there let's go ahead and go six minus nine four minus one negative three over three negative three over three equals negative one so now we have a negative one x that changes the game a little bit all right let's plug it in four here six here this is going to be challenging, which is fine. Your brain needs that challenge, okay? You need to work out that brain ears. Does 6 equal negative 1 times 4 is negative 4? All right, this is interesting. I needed to get to what? I need 6 to equal 6. How do I get from negative 4 to positive 6? I have to add, don't I? I have to add. Let me just ask you right now. What's negative 4 plus 4? Isn't that 0? So if I get to 0, how much farther do I need to go? six more. So if I'm adding four, I got to zero, then I have to add six more. Would that make sense? Negative four plus four, that equals zero. Then four plus, and then zero plus six would equal six. And that sounded kind of confusing, but ultimately, if you're not with me, that's your answer. Plus 10. Don't worry if you're not with me on that. That's a tough problem. Negatives make it, make it a little different, little challenge. Negative four plus 10. Could you always use your calculator? Yes. Okay. Best of luck. Go ahead and work on the exit ticket now. And then once you finish the exit ticket, there's a week four Desmos homework for you guys to finish. You're doing that the rest of class. There is no talking at this point. From this point further, you can feel free to put your test borders up and you can leave those test borders up the entire period. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.